And this is a live, probably the first time we've had a live setup like this. And really it's an update on ASCO 2009. Thank you very much. Good evening. Um, there weren't really any blockbusters at ASCO this year in breast cancer, but I think there were a fair few nuggets which will help define best practice and emerging strategies. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, angiogenesis inhibitors and a key study, Ribbon 1, with Bevacizumab. Perhaps the highlight was data in triple negative and BRCA-related tumors related to new class of drugs called PARP inhibitors. At the end of uh, two slides related to early breast cancer because there were no new key developments in early breast cancer, but some information about biomarkers and gene signatures. So, interesting work in renal cancer and in prostate cancer. So many thanks for giving me the opportunity to present uh, the uh, renal cancer and prostate cancer data from my holiday in Orlando. And back to you, Nick Thatcher the rest of the meeting. Many thanks. Okay, Jonathan. Great. Well, we'll uh, thank him in his absence. And what I really want to do is move really quickly on to the question sec section from our eight uh, regional groups and then the ninth group are you, uh, the audience here in the studio in London. So perhaps we can go straight to Newcastle and uh, ask uh, Tony, uh, Dr. Branson, do you have a question for us? Uh, yes, we, we do. Um, question for Steve Johnson. Uh, this question of uh, the use of SSRIs um, in patients taking tamoxifen. The specific question is, what do you regard as a significant amount of time on SSRIs and what should we be doing about this? Something that in terms of the actual uh, study design, they actually talked about therapy where they had been taking it uh, tamoxifen for a period of at least 24 months and a, a significant amount of that time uh, being at least 12 or more months of that time on it. So they were talking about a ratio of the different drugs that they were on. Thanks very much. Now we go on to uh, Peter in Cardiff. Peter, uh, do you have a question for us here? Thanks very much. And, uh, and Stephen, Stephen in Bristol, a, a question for us. Okay, great. And we'll move on to Greg Wilson. Now in the uh, land of uh, Manchester. Was there any subset analysis which showed that you might get more benefit in the higher risk patients with Avastin? Thanks so much. You've been great. We've had some great questions and presentations, and I certainly hope we might be able to do this again someday. Thanks very much, everybody.